Hey guys, welcome back to Say Mojo Homestead after a little break. <laughs> so we've missed you guys. We missed interacting with you guys. I hope you've kind of missed us <laughs> as much as we've missed that. We are in the garden today. We'll get into why we've kind of been MIA yeah. over the last week and a half really. But um, today the main thing is getting most of our stuff planted for our summer garden garden time yes i am really excited mainly because of the layout yeah and we get to start filling it in now all of our plants are still very tiny yeah <laughs> so it's not gonna have the effect but yeah. it just is one more thing that we can be doing in the garden preparing and imagining what it's going to look like in a few months yeah. it is already hot here in south carolina it is it's like not even lunchtime yet and i'm already melting mm. so we want to get this in as fast as possible, and we also need to finish planting some seeds. Yeah. The biggest thing I want to make sure we get to also is I found some sunflower seeds. Oh, that, are they good? They're well. We we have the mammoth ones. Yes. They're okay. Good. Okay. Okay. Um, they're from last year. We okay. we bought them. Um, but I did not realize we had more sunflower seeds, and so I want to incorporate them in the garden. So I don't know if you put those in the design. I think I did, but a lot of the flowers I just assumed we'd fill in. Okay. So, okay. Yeah. Okay. So we'll kind of we'll so, find places. Yeah. We'll yeah. find places for sure. So we have lots to do before I start to really melt. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, <laughs> it's going to be a melting kind of day. <laughs> the other big exciting thing, or scary thing, or freaky thing, or whatever. <laughs> oh gosh. Are the cicadas? No. Have so arrived. Weird. Here. I was, yes. But yeah, it I, is just the beginning. They just started weird. this week. They're going to get weird. so much louder. I can handle the noise. It's like last night we went to put the baby goats away and there was like cicada skin and like a cicada shedding its skin. It was if you guys aren't familiar with, with cicadas, like if you don't have them in your area, they are very alien. Like there's actually one right here. They're we, really starting to pop out. I'm going to yeah, show you guys. We didn't have these in California. <laughs> Look at that thing. So ugly. <laughs> Those red beady eyes, Crazy. like very much alien like but um yeah this is a pretty big event the last time like these two broods hatched together was like 200 years ago yeah and it's supposed to get pretty loud around here in a few weeks if you're not really familiar with them they have different brood cycles like different types of cicadas have different brood cycles so there's like the seven year cicada so basically like they lay eggs they lay dormant in the soil or like in their like larva state in the soil for seven years and then they emerge and come out and then you have like i don't remember all of them but there are so many different ones and some of them are like 15 years in the soil all that stuff so this one just happens to be two different ones that are coming out at the same time and um yeah it's it gets interesting in the south yes it does <laughs> but enough about that we're trying to beat the heat let's yes. get let's get to gardening <laughs> all right guys first things first we got to figure out where i put everything <laughs> in this design so we have the design if you missed that video where you really talked through it i will link it for you guys if you want to check that out but um yeah i'm excited about this craziness so we've got a lot of tomatoes going in these are not well some of these are tomatoes. some of these are tomatoes okay some of them are peppers yeah so they are some of our stuff is big some of it is really tiny because we had to restart which if you also missed that here's another video that you can check out but uh <laughs> that was not a fun day <laughs> it was not but Ugh. they're up they have true leaves and so we can go ahead and put them in the ground yep and i think that we will just yeah. to get it all done so yeah. all guess... of this is lower stuff on the inside okay. Uh, okay or we can bring it to here and then just do tomato 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 let's do that it'll just be a little bit more open over here if we do yeah that. let's do that it won't be like a solid wall oh but it won't be anyway, because we're not following. Well, it was going to be a solid wall to here and then jump over to here. I don't have a real strong opinion either way. Oh, cicada. <laughs> I think I would like a, a solid wall to the greenhouse, actually. Okay. So yeah. we can just do a solid wall through here. Yeah. And then jump it over right there. Yeah, let's do that. Just so that, like, the solid wall, meaning, like, if you're inside, you can't right, see Right, you can't see out. out. Yeah. So. I want to make sure one of them is lined up right here and make sure this is solid when you're coming down that path. Okay. So the reason we have not been so active
productive in the last like week and a half is our lives have just been crazy hectic busy and we've actually been out of town the last two weekends so we haven't really been doing too much around the homestead we have started the show getting ready for the show at our dance studio and i'm the director of the show and i co-wrote the show with another staff member so um this is kind of where I step in and take over a little bit. So I have to be in all the classes and usually I get to leave early. That's not so much the case now moving into this season. And then, I mean, just the nature of the springtime yeah. with my work has just really, really picked up. So just long days and everything else. And honestly, guys, like we have just kind of been burned out. And the last thing that we wanted to do was like, think about having to put videos out mm -hmm. and really it's not because we don't enjoy it but it is the first thing that is going to get dropped when we are overwhelmed so yeah. Yeah. um again we've missed you guys yeah but we are hoping to be get back to being somewhat regular here in the week and stuff like that so um thank you guys for bearing with us yeah that. all right yeah. we got all of the tomatoes in that we're going to plant uh we did have a lot of leftovers I think we may be giving some to my parents and also we want to hold some just in case some of those transplants don't make it because some of those transplants were like super super tiny and had just started getting their first true leaves so want to just have some backup for those just in case but we're gonna go take a lunch break real quick and cool off a little bit but we're gonna come back get our peppers in the ground and we got a little tip for you if you're an experienced gardener you may know this tip with peppers but if not, this could benefit you greatly when planting your peppers. Found this guy, girl, who always squeezes through our fence to get into the garden. Thankfully, she only is eating the weeds in the garden, but with all of these things that we're planting today, we Whew, we're really gonna have to uh, keep an eye on her. I don't know that there's anything really like immediately that we can do to keep her out, but um, yeah, at least she's a good weeder. I gotta give her credit for that. But she daily squeezes through these little four by four openings and gets in here to eat everything that she wants. But hey, I mean, she is kind of cute. So we do have a couple things we haven't um, updated you about or shared with you yet. Um, we have some squash growing in our circle. We planted squash uh, maybe three or four weeks ago. We like to go ahead and get those in and get them up early to try to have a nice harvest before we have any squash borers. If you have ever fought with a squash, a squash borer, you know what I mean. We have a bunch of different varieties of squash. I can't say specifically which ones each are because as you know we do our wild planting um, but what we've done is we've planted them in the circle so we have squash popping up there's a little guy we did all like summer squash in here so your zucchini your yellow crookneck we may have a couple patty pan all these little leaves popping up right here are all zinnias we're gonna have a lot of zinnias in this bed um and then we have of course the snapdragons which i love we just have a lot going on um in these beds still we do have a couple brassicas left that we just haven't pulled up just because we haven't pulled them up yet and we can saute the greens and use those uh in meals and we do that so they don't seem to be bolting yet so we're just leaving them for now. Um, the other thing we have that I haven't shared with you yet, I'm debating. Do I walk you through the circle and all the way to the other side of the garden? Or do I just stop and go over there and show it to you? But I think that we're just going to keep walking um, and talking uh, because it's lovely out here and i love this circle so that was the circle we just walked through and now i'm going to show you something on the other side of the garden look at that these are artichokes and we do have some aphids on them we might spray them for with neem oil i haven't yet only because i did see a um, ladybug on here and i don't want to kill any beneficial bugs in the process of trying to get rid of the pest i am excited about how many artichokes are on this plant 
So I did have someone ask on Insta Instagram if we grew them from seed. We did not. We got the plants. We actually have three plants. Two of them are in pots. They're not doing as well as this plant that's in the ground. So since this plant did so well, it overwintered well. We did have lots of cold nights. So this one definitely survived them and did a great job and is thriving. So I think we're going to put those other two plants that are in pots in the ground. This one, Jeremy did transplant from a pot into the ground and look it's like so happy and thriving also so we definitely will probably transplant all of those and um have them just in our garden all right guys time for that pepper tip that i told you about so in these rows kind of the finger section of our garden we are doing hot peppers and then inside the spiral we're going to do all the sweet peppers this is something that works for all peppers hot and sweet and will maximize the yield that you're going to get off of these things so i'm going to put you guys down so you can see so you want to really ideally catch them when they're about this size after they put on their true leaves and then have started kind of the second set of true leaves uh, at least get them to that point so if you see let's see we'll go with this one this one right here has another set of true leaves coming out so you're going to grab that top pinch that top off just like that Make sure you don't just get the leaves. You definitely want to make sure you pinch that top stem. And when I say pinch, I mean, you know, break it off. That way, what it does is it will cause it to branch out in all of these armpits and give you a fuller, bushier pepper plant. If you don't do that, it's still going to grow. It's just going to be a little bit higher, a little less full. But by doing that, again, you're going to create a bushier plant that's going to give you more flowers and more fruit. So fun tip if you didn't already know. So we wanted to give you a little update on this part of the garden as well. What we have done here is we have some chard, some spinach, some um, cabbage, and some cauliflower growing in this bed. These were some brescas that Jess gave us. We also have some celery if you want to see our random celery plant. But behind them, on next to this trellis, what we've done is we've planted our uh, cucumbers because so the idea is this is a little bit of an experiment. Um, if you know me at all, or if you've heard me uh, talk at all about this, Thomas Jefferson was a scientist in the garden. I admire that part of who he was. And so this is our science experiment to see if we can get these to grow up and shade these plants so that maybe we can extend their growing season. That's something he always tried to do. He tried to push the boundaries and push growing seasons. That's what we're trying to do with this. I don't know if it will work. It's pretty hot, but we'll see. So we finally got the garden planted pretty, for the most part. Didn't get everything done, but most of it. Yeah, I got a lot of it in. Yeah, so yeah. So. Hopefully it will all survive. <laughs> yes. Some of the tomatoes, just because of the heat and mm -hmm. pulling them apart, separating them. Yeah. Really, I like, started laying down on the ground, but tomatoes are pretty resilient and they tend to bounce back pretty good. So right. I'm hopeful. And we have a lot of extra starts that we, yes. we have backups <laughs> just in case. Yeah, we were afraid <laughs> after the fertilizer debacle that, mm -hmm. yeah, we weren't going to have enough, but we, we did have a lot, especially when enough. just being able to separate them and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, we, we had plenty. So. Yeah. So, highs and lows? Let's do it. You go first. Okay. Um, so my high was, you know what? I'm going to start with my low. <laughs> Good play. Good idea. <laughs> um, I'm not going to go into too much detail with my low because it does involve just family matters. But last night, I would say it was probably my low. We went to an event and one of our kids just did not make some wise choices. And I mean, honestly, I think it was probably the first time I was embarrassed to be their parent. And so that was kind of hard yeah it was tough yeah. but you know i talked to our kid and the one that was um the culprit <laughs> i guess and explained to them that you know i was not happy with them that i was very disappointed and even told him like you know i still love you but i'm not proud of you so hopefully they got the message yeah i hope uh but yeah it was just that was my not low of the week it, it was definitely just low of the week but yeah. anyway my high of the week, which is a good thing, was last weekend. The reason we did not get a video up or even like try to get one up is because 
John graduated from boot camp. We went down and saw that. We spent the weekend with him. It was really, really good. Split the time between um, his family. We've met them before, but it was kind of just a quick little quick, yeah. like 30 minute conversation kind of meeting. Um, yeah. This, we got to spend some time with them and that was just a lot of fun. Yeah. And we got some just one-on-one -on -one time with John. So that was really good. I just really enjoyed it. And we kind of made a weekend trip of it. Yeah. And the kids being able to hang out with him. Yeah. Definitely, definitely was a high. It was a bittersweet because it was like weekend and then goodbye again. Yeah. But um, it was really good. It was worth it. And to celebrate his accomplishment. Yeah. So he's going into infantry training and we get to do it again in <laughs> like 12 weeks. Yeah. So looking forward to getting back down there and getting some more time with him. My high is... Well, definitely the same. Being there with him, being able to see the kids with him again. We were at one park and we we're rock climbing and just, you know, he's just like, he sees them as his little siblings. So helping him climb on the rocks and stuff, it was just a lot of fun. It's good being with him. It was nice because we got a house. So we had some downtime with him, with I, which I think I appreciated more than anything else. I loved seeing him graduate. I cried, all the things. But having that like that time in the house with them made it feel more like home and yeah. not rushed. Well, and we brought homestead food, as yes, he calls it. Yeah, so, <laughs> so we were able to cook for him. So yeah, it was it was really good. My other high would be just that we are getting back into the show, and um, I'm excited about what it is this year. Our team really likes to function as a team at our studio, and so I get to work with the choreographers. We get to do things a little bit more creatively with dance, so it's just going to be a lot of fun this year, so I'm really excited about that. My low is definitely that we've been behind. We were out of town for two weeks, two weekends, doing two things that, like, I definitely wouldn't not do it you know like they were worth the time and the trips but I think the biggest place I felt very pressured was like school lunches and the house and like yeah when you need a day to prepare for your week's lunches and you don't get that because we also had a Joe had a field trip like lots of fun things happened but it all kind of took away from my time to yes. do the things that need to be done for us to function the way we function. It definitely caused that feeling of overwhelm, but I mean, they were good things. Yeah. So. Yeah. So, but, um, anyway, that's it. So garden is coming together. Thank you yes. guys for joining us and planting out most of the stuff we do. Like we said, have a few more things to get in the ground, but for the most part, like things are there. Yep. It's just time to like watch them grow. Yes. The, exciting the fun part. Yes, yeah. Yes. And I get to have my wall in my garden. And Just I can be come in, and in here and hide. Your sanctuary. <laughs> yes. We do really appreciate you guys following along with us, uh, subscribing. If you have not done that, we yeah. invite you to do that. Become a part of the YouTube family with us and hit that like button if you like this material it's just a great way of letting us know yeah. and a simple way to just encourage us and saying, yeah. hey, like we like what you're doing. Keep doing it. And I want to know if you guys are getting blessed by the cicada chorus. Blessed. Blessed. That's a way to put it. <laughs> Wherever you are. So let us know in the comments. If this is a foreign creature to you, let us know. Let us know. I would, I would like to know. Yeah. Maybe we'll like do a little cicada video later on when they really get bad. <laughs> they were attacking my hat today, so I hope they don't get any worse than they are right oh, now. Oh, they've just started. They're oh, getting gosh. worse. <laughs> so I hope you guys have a great week and be blessed.